Someone was interrupted preparing their supper. Taken. Or fled. A second bed. Olvida doesn't live alone. Spilt pail of water. Someone was in a hurry. Leave me be, warmonger! You have my sister! Is that not enough? Peace, boy. I'm not with these men. I came to speak with your sister, that's all. A day in Essex. Now here's a day riddled with strange portents and happenings. Why did they take your sister? Some of Alfred's men beat a child of the village for stealing bread. My sister would not stand by and see injustice done. Do you know where they're holding Olvida? Yet another stay at the King's pleasure. The prison camp at Brentwood, far to the west. I'll bring her to the lake house north of there. Meet us there if you wish. If you promise you will find her, I will. Why are you following me? My sister is in peril! Hello and welcome. You never know when this might come in handy. Seems like you're expecting trouble.
help myself here. Best not to draw attention here. See you all. This must be Birsten's love, Alvida. They haven't broken her spirit. I will need to find a key. No finger rice, a risk of on surf and winter.
You're not one of them. Stay quiet. I'm here to free you. I cannot walk. My ankle. They were not gentle with me. Then I will carry you. Who are you? Who risked so much to save me? A friend. Of Elrich's? Is he all right? The poor boy? Not your brother. Someone else who wishes to rekindle a, a friendship. my hood here. <laughs> G Gentler, please. You'll soon be safe. Rest easy. Safe and well. Pain. Rest now. Soon you will be up and about again. Alfida! Did they hurt you? Takes more than some cockshy milk sops to break my will. Beating a boy after death for stealing bread? I'll not see it done. Growling bellies mean nothing to those pay swords. Ellerich, pay more mind to the world. It is cruel and dark for those who cannot stand up for themselves. Olvida, could we speak in private? He is a good boy. But without a father to guide him, he's grown softer than I'd hoped. You raised him alone? Where were your parents when he was a child? Dead of the plague that came when he was three months born. So to shun your door when you have a babe on your teat. Now it's your turn. Why did you come for me? I'm here at the request of Elderman Beerston. He wonders if you could love him again. Love him? Dear old Beerston, he remembers. He does. I've thought of him sometimes myself. But with my brother to fend for, I could not waste a life mooning. He has thought of nothing but you, Alvida. And with his 
wife, Estrid, returning to Frankia? He sent me to find you. How it would work between me and him? I'm a poor woman. Have been always. But the Alderman... Oh, God, help! I'll give him a go. He'll come if you call. At the lighting of the bonfire, he'll ride here to meet you. Ellerich, come you and sit with us. I have something to say. My... my apple blossom girl. Is it really you? It is. Though crows have left their footfall... They still shine brightly. Aye, she has. And do you accept me, love? My heart feels like it will... Give her time, Birsten. A passion rekindled in hate. Of course. You are absolutely right. And we have a lifetime to recapture what was mislaid. I hope it will not take that. And this young lad is Ellerich, all that is brother. Hello, your... I am Beerstan. Nineteen summers. He's all the family I have, Beerstan. If I'm to stay, you must welcome us both into your heart. We have one half of our bargain done, Beerstan. I will return with news of the other. Does this mean we're leaving Malden? You are, my boy. To live with me in Colchester. Perhaps I can teach you... Before you go, Ellerich, I suggest a long, slow walk around. Now to plan the kidnap. Estrid waits for me. Dear Beerston, I cannot believe you would come for me after all these years. I never stopped thinking of you, Alvida. What will I be in Colchester? A gooseberry in the Elderman's patch? <laughs>